another trading video. This time we're looking at uh, another ASX listed company, Invocare Limited. Uh, the ASX code is IVC. And the period of time we're looking at here is uh, the first six months of 2009. Um, we can see a very, uh, very clear pattern forming here. What I like with this particular pattern is it's like a lot of companies during this time. They've had very strong falls throughout 2008. However, um, they've now shown some signs of uh, halting that slide and, and sort of just hanging on and consolidating and certainly Invocare IVC has done that. And even just over the shorter term, we've sort of seen this key level through here and at the same time this sort of pattern forming which uh, is an ascending triangle which I'm particularly keen on. And of course what we've seen there is uh, a break from the ascending triangle. In fact you probably just vary this line here slightly to include that sort of level down there. And what we're seeing there is a very clear break of that ascending triangle in recent times. But just to put all this back into perspective, uh, what we've seen over the last 18 months, you know, beginning of 2008, is uh, a clear fall from uh, all-time highs at 750 and fallen down to lows at around 450-ish. Uh, um, and in the scheme of things, it probably hasn't fallen as bad as many companies uh, have. But after those large falls, what we often like to see, and uh, I'll talk about my rule of V in a second, but what we like to see after large falls is consolidation. We like to see range trading sideways, not moving up or down, just holding on and uh, moving sideways for a period of time. And uh, based on my rule of V, you know, when I tell people the rule of V, they say, well, that, that makes a lot of sense, but we never think about it when we make our decisions. And the rule of V is simply that when stocks experiencing, experience very large falls over a period of time of, say, 6 to 12 months, the last thing they do is form a V pattern and actually head straight back up again. It just doesn't happen. We often see stocks form inverted Vs, the opposite, but we just don't see them form Vs very, very often at all. And what that really means is that buying in a downtrend, we're expecting it to literally stop and head back again, which doesn't happen. So not only are we breaking the rules of buying in a downtrend, if it is going to stop as soon as we buy it and, and move back higher, the movement back higher will not necessarily be sustained because stocks generally don't form Vs. What they often form, however, uh, after the first leg of the V, is this, this sort of sideways movement. And I, and I believe the longer this period of sideways trading, this consolidation, the more sustained a movement back high will be, simply because all the people who have bought through this period of time here continue to hold on through this time and are frustrated and annoyed with their decision to purchase, but of course they hold on. The longer, however, we do this, the more people who have purchased through this time here, the more that they actually tend, they make the decision, right, I've held it enough, it's, enough's enough, I'll get out and get what money I can out of it. So the longer this can go, I guess it's more the more turnover we have of people who have owned it during this time here. Because if any, the price starts to make any movement back higher, we have all these people through here who are deciding to, hey, the price has been down three months since I purchased it, down 20%. It's now back up near where I bought it. I want to get out. And uh, many people think that, which only adds to the selling pressure of the supply, which of course makes the road back higher even more difficult. And that's generally why we don't see stocks uh, just form V patterns. They tend to form this sideways pattern. So in Invercare's case right now, we've got a classic ascending triangle pattern, a clear break, good consolidation after the break. And um, if we were to come and look at this again in three, six months' time, you could easily see how this could be back well above $6.650 sort of mark uh, quite easily because it's had that consolidation. It's had the large fall. It's had the sideways consolidation for a good six months, which is a long period of time. And now we've seen a clear break to the upside, and uh, you could easily see it being considerably higher at some point in time. Now, if I just click a date here and just sort of simulate uh, an entry on this particular trade and put the 21st of May 2009, we can just give you a bit of an idea of the sort of uh, exit strategy you could use for this medium-term trade. Um, Oh, just click that other yellow line and get rid of that. So you can see the sort of simple strategy we could use for um, an, an exit in this medium term tray. We've got the clear break uh, above the 525 level. So our exit's in place well and truly away from the price action, allowing that price to, to establish a medium term uptrend, have its ups, have its downs, you know, have its short term downtrends against the medium term uptrend. 
as long as we say it's steer well clear from uh, the price action and this does continue to move higher we're in uh, great shape to allow this stock to continue to move higher and enjoy a good solid uh, profit over the next uh, medium term period.